Right, quick tutorial on installing the SSML plugin. Uh, first of all, you'll find this folder for the plugin deployment. Uh, if you copy this whole thing to your voice attack plugins folder, uh, including the, the the folder it's all in, inside it is the plugin, and you should find it available for activation in voice attack. Uh, PDBs, you don't really need them, but uh, they help in debugging if there's any errors. Uh, so if you do get an exception and I can see it in any way, then it'll give me more information when you uh, send it to me if these are included. Uh, secondly, I've included a, a, a .NET WinForms application in here, which uses the plugin to let you try um, different SSML text. Um, just run this program. Keep all the rest in there. It's not really important but plugin libraries in here or the underlying library that plugin uses uh, over in uh, if you just run this one you get this and the text in here is a valid set of uh, SSML commands so if you say this it'll detect it as SML, SSML now and it will speak it like this not more testing termites are more interesting than this alive live Live Gaia. Gaia. Which is really interesting, but uh, it's kind of limited by the Microsoft implementation. This is what it's speaking. This is completely ignored when you've uh, put text inside a phoneme um, tag. This is the alphabet you're looking for, so if you do a search for a reference on this, you'll find out what all of these mean and what they do. Um, I will include a link somewhere to the reference, although I've kind of extracted it in an understandable way for myself, which is probably isn't understandable for anyone else because my brain works in strange ways. But that's pretty much all you can do with uh, with what I've played with so far. But uh, anything that's supported by Microsoft Text to Speech will work in here. If you mess up the XML, for example, if you do that, nothing will happen. <laughs> That's uh, that's it. You don't get any error message or anything. Microsoft just ignores it and doesn't say anything. If you then make it right again, more it works. Turn. You can stop this as well, unlike voice attack. Yeah. You can't stop it when it's running in voice attack. Um, if you do something silly like uh, change this tag, it won't detect. If this tag is, is wrong for any reason, then the program won't detect that it's SSML and it will speak it like this. Less than XML version equals one point zero. Yeah, that'll take a while, so let's not do that. Um, if you get that, <laughs> you'll probably have to wait for it to speaking the entire XML thing. So um, when you're using invoice attack, uh, so it's not a good idea. Test your stuff in here, and the way to then put it into voice attack is okay. I was really interrupted then, so I'll start again. Uh, go from here. The text in the plugin context comes directly from this window, except you need to remove all carriage returns and line feeds. So I think I'll add a button to do it automatically at some point. But um, right now, select all of that as long as it's okay. Copy it. Uh, open Notepad Plus Plus. Too many windows. Create a new window, paste it in. If you don't use Notepad++, plus plus, plenty of other editors do this, or you can do it manually, but um, what I would do is then go to uh, Edit, and somewhere in here is Line Operations, Join Lines. That's it, it's all one line now, so it's all copy it again. Uh, come in here, select all, delete, paste it, done. Okay. So then, and as you can see, a couple of these. Uh, this is just a Windows profile I use. I talk to the kids, <laughs> and there's probably nothing embarrassing in there because the kids get to hear it all. And if I press Control F, no, just Control Five. Not more testing. That's termites are that more way. interesting than this. Alive. Of course. Live. You can't stop Live it. Gaia. <laughs> and uh, that's it, that's how it should work, and uh, 
happy voice attacking.